Hey guys, it's Nina over at Evasive Motorsports. If you don't know already, we'll be competing in the World Time Attack in Australia in August with our NESS 2000 RS. By the time you're watching this, the car will be on a ship on the way over to the other side of the world. To help our friend die out, we've done some changes to the car mechanically, just so we can get every second you can out of the car. On top of the mechanical changes, we made some updates visually. So to give it a proper send off, we decided to give it a little going away party. going to World Time Attack and uh, I think this will be another uh, one of the lifetime type of opportunity, right? So I'm super grateful to be a driver for that and I just can't uh, thank enough to all my partners, especially in this Motor Oil and Yokohama Tire. And thanks again for coming out tonight and uh, hope you guys have a good time. What's up guys, my name is Dai Yoshihara and I'm here at Evasive Motorsports and this is the car that we're gonna compete in uh, World Time Attack in Australia in August and this is uh, Evasive Motorsports Ineos Motor Oil S2000R Since the last time I drove this car uh, it's got quite a bit of modification a few of the main is uh, the power steering got a uh, new unit because the last time I was driving, the power steering was not strong enough. It was a stock OE uh, unit. So uh, the car has so much downforce that certain turns at the track, uh, it didn't really work. So I couldn't go as fast as I can. 
but now the, the unit is like much stronger so it shouldn't have that kind of issue um, and also we uh, upgraded the brake system as well so it's going to be more consistent brake um, and also uh, it's got new engines um, new setup and with the uh, uh, NOS So actually, I've been to uh, World Time Attack uh, back in 2015. Uh, I was one of the judges for drifting portion of it. So I've been there, I've seen the track, but I never driven the track or uh, yeah, competed in the series. So uh, this is going to be my first time and uh, I'm super excited. At the same time, a little nervous because um, I don't know much about it yet. Um, but I've been, I haven't really done yet, but I'm going to practice on the sim, so um, that should get me uh, jump studying quite a bit. You know, as usual, as a motorsports, um, you know, it's uh, pretty last minute. So now, you know, Kel's trying to finish up the car and the car needs to be shipped out in a few days. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We don't really have that much time. So um, that's a little concern, but I'm sure with the basic motorsports crew, we should be able to figure it out before the events.